My esteemed managing director, Mr. Molly Passaway, staff of this innovative institution, NEVE Liberia, that is a new energy electrical vehicles, member of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Today marks one of the momentous days in my life because as a child growing up, I always believe that soliciting the nation Liberia and the world at large is paramount to progress before leaving this earth. I've always dreamed of leaving my footprint on the sense of time and immortalizing my name in the mass of millions so that historians can dip their pen in the ink of truth and record my deeds. With that being said, I'm here today with a vision. A vision of a greener, cleaner, and more sustainable future for Liberia and beyond. At New Energy Electric Vehicle, Liberia, which is need for sure, we are committed to revolutionizing the transportation and energy sector in this country and solicit the rest of the world in reducing emission. It is our pride that this country help the rest of the world in making sure that emission is at its targeted point that the rest of the world is discussing every day around the planet. It is testament of this that you see today, when I read the news today in Dubai, it's a great flood. They build this city, this great city in the UAE, United Arab Emirates, not contemplating on this day. They build this city with a very poor drainage system. Today, Dubai is the entire city is flooded because it is raining like crazy. So the rest of the world is targeting a better emission reduction so that we can have a cleaner and a great world. Neve Liberia will be introducing to the rest of this country in a couple of months from now for electrical vehicles that is to do with the traditional keke, which is the tricycle, fully solar plated, and also charges. After this conference, we all walk downstairs and we have one of the sample downstairs that you will be photographing. And we will also be using, we will also be introducing to this country our fully charged motorbike. Our keke will be running for approximately 150 kilometers when fully charged. Got to solicit this nation in reducing emission greatly. No noise, very effective, good for African terrain. And our motorbike, on the other hand, will also be running for 120 kilometers when fully charged. And it's actually built for African terrain. And this initiative, we are going to be using this initiative in creating jobs. We are opting to create 500 jobs for Liberians around this uh, Mosserado. And we are also opting to decentralize this company into our densely populated counties for now and then to the rest of the counties. We will be training these 500 new workers very shortly. It's going to be in all the papers that we are calling for people who want to ride bike, keke, because we want them to be more professional than what we are seeing on the street today. Our brothers and sisters, mothers, fathers, loved ones are getting involved in a lot of accidents around this country because of our mode of transportation would have become keke and that of the bike. And it is because of insufficient education on motor vehicles operations. So we are at need Liberia, we, we are contemplating on safety protocol. So we are going to train 
our keke and bag rather for a lengthy period when certificated before we give you our equipment. We are going to start with approximately 100 pieces of kekes and 150 pieces of bike and that of some little vehicles which we're going to be using as cars for transportation. For now, we are not going to be involved in sales because we first of all want the Liberian people to test the equipment that we have and be able to understand that this is the new norms. And then the society themselves will ask to purchase before we can be able to put some of our vehicles on sales. So for now, our vehicles will not be for sale. It will be for only transportation reason. And uh, on this slide, we have another component of this company. We have to do with energy. Our energy sector, we are going to be building a solar farm that is going to be powered enough to give vast majority, if not 75%, 60% of every household in Mosserado, because we are beginning from Mosserado, so that we can have a stable current. As you can see, we are in the middle of the press conference and we have power shortage. This country for approximately 20 years or 30 years have been depending on LEC, which is the government issued electricity and that of generators. At NIV Liberia, we are trying to solicit this nation, this government, so as to introduce this solar farm that is going to give stable electricity that we won't have to get another power shortage while in the middle of a press conference. So with that being said, I want you as the media to go out there and spread the gospel that there is a library owned company that has come on board to foster the move of a greener future, of a clean energy, of a better Liberia. Thank you.